The number one excuse for not training is I don't have time to train. This is one of the worst excuses I ever heard of. If you really want to train, you will find a way to make time to train. I met single mothers with two kids, managers who work six, seven days a week with a family and they have time to train or they make time to train. The truth is, whether you're busy or not, if you really want to train, you would find a way to make it a priority to train. You would do whatever it takes to train. Whether you get 10 minutes a day, an hour a day, an hour three times a week, you would do whatever it takes. The most common reasons people say they don't have time to train is because of their kids and because of work. A busy person who is interested in fitness would do whatever it takes. If that means they have to get up earlier to get their workout done so that they're not interrupted by other people or by their work. Another example would be working out during the lunch break or just taking an extra hour to work out and then make up that extra hour to work. One of the benefits they might feel is not driving through traffic. So one thing you can do is either go to the gym after work or go to the gym after your dinner and then just go to bed a little bit later if you have to or just work out in a short amount of time. I know going to the gym after work is not ideal for most people. It's very crowded. People are tired from working. So the next alternative is get gym equipment for your place. You can actually save a lot of time going to the gym because transportation takes time. Taking time to change takes time. Waiting for exercise equipment takes time. You don't have to work out six, seven times a week. You can get great results working out two to three times a week, one hour each day. You just have to make sure you have a decent program to work with.